Hey everyone, it's Vision. Today we're taking a look at the Fine Fine K6 88 CT microphone. The CT portion is the bundled boom arm that comes with it and the thread adapter and the table mount. It's a solid bundle that can get you started to streaming, recording, or anything you need a microphone for. It is a solid build, nothing special, but for a sub $100 microphone bundle, what else can you ask for? Now I'm not a microphone expert, but I think this is all you need to do to get started. The desk mount is pretty simple. You unscrew it, you clamp it to your desk by screwing it back up, you slot the boom arm into it, and you twist on the microphone with the threads. From there, you can adjust the knobs to get the tensioning that you need, and yeah, it's pretty straightforward. And to use this, you can either use the provided USB cable, or you can use the XLR if you have a audio mixer. But for anyone starting out, plugging with the USB sounds just good. So let's get straight into the audio test. So this is what it sounds like. I'm recording through OBS, and I'm forgetting exactly what USB mixer I'm recording through, but it's uh, this one. Raw audio from OBS, straight into there, no filters. And as a person who would stream or record every now and then, you never want to use the real audio. You're normally going to want to filter it. Um, so here's the audio samples for that. And this is with some filters on through OBS, through my XLR mixer. This does have noise suppression and limiter on to make sure I don't peak. This microphone is designated or usually for people who stream, maybe just record videos. and. It, because it comes with the shock mount, that um, it's it's decent. The shock mount itself is actually metal. Um, the body and build of the microphone is plastic. Who cares, really? You're paying a good price for a microphone that sounds fairly good. If I was to show you this microphone versus another one, you wouldn't really be able to tell the difference. Only really cheap ones you can't, and all their microphones are pretty good. Because it's designated for streamers, um, you guys already saw, but it comes with the microphone arm, the boom itself. This is kind of all you need to get started. You don't really need anything else. So this is a USB audio recording. It goes from a USB A on your computer, USB C into the bottom of the microphone. Whenever I'm talking, I can tap this button to. You can hear me. You can look down real quick and tell if it's green or red, if you're live or it's muted. It is on a shock mount with these rubber bands. Feels good quality. The shock mount itself is metal with the rubber bands. The frame, the body of the microphone is plastic. The cover on the microphone really cuts down on the P's and Q's. And honestly, if you're using this microphone, you're gonna be using it for talking trash and games, or you're gonna be recording in OBS. So you're probably gonna be turning on filters in OBS. Or if you're in Discord, you have Crisp enabled, which is gonna do basically those two same things, the limiter and then also noise suppression. So you're gonna have it on anyway. You can adjust the audio in the bottom. They recommend to keep it at 30%. So I kind of just, I didn't even touch it to be honest. I'm just adjusting my audio in OBS and you can adjust it in Windows if you want. You don't want it too high. I keep it around 30%, whatever they recommend. The microphone that I love about these profiles is it points directly at me. Usually you want to be fairly close to it. And then anything on the side of the microphone, it really cuts it out. The reason why is because the profile is pointing directly at you. So you want to keep it directly at you. It's nice if you have maybe have more noise in your area, like outside of a window, family running around. It's harder to hear them. They focus on you with your filters and that's all you need. The microphone is 80 bucks, including the arm. And I think it's a good price point comparing to more expensive microphones. If I was to black out the screen, swap between two microphones back to back, you might be able to tell the difference. But in two different videos, you probably won't even be able to tell the difference. And that's the thing about microphones. There's a lot of diminishing returns the higher you get. And the really expensive ones, and I've spent a lot of money on microphones so far, the really expensive ones, really diminishing returns, and I'll never have the voice ability to be able to get my money from it. People who are able to manipulate their voice, scream loud, sing beautifully, that's what it's probably made for. This one's made for the average person, which 95% of people out there, that's you and me. Normal microphone, if you wanna stream, 
I'd recommend starting with a good microphone around this price point, grab an $80 webcam, eventually update to a nicer camera, nicer computer, and just build from there. You don't need the expensive stuff. I've blown way too much money on microphones already. This is all you really need and they're doing it for people. If you compare this to a bigger brand one, you're gonna get RGB features, you're gonna get the software where every time you turn on your computer, they need to run, or if they don't run, your keyboard might not work, your mouse might not, your microphone, so on and so on. This one, you plug it in, you're good to go. And thanks Fine Fine for sending me this microphone. Um, this microphone, I wish I honestly came across this myself. This microphone's pretty good quality. I don't need an XLR. Um, just to compare price-wise from another microphone, the other setup that I have is a $400 microphone with a $60 stand with a $150 XLR interface. And can you really tell the difference? You probably cannot. <laughs> um, so this is, this is good. <laughs> um, Fine Fine came out with this one for the people. It came for people to actually enjoy, use, be affordable and get into whatever they want to do. Um, they're attacking a certain specific price point and I think it's good for everybody. A lot of people want the most expensive things, the most flashiest, the most RGB, but you don't need that. Especially when you're starting out, save your money. You don't want to invest everything into this and have nothing for anything else. Um, spend on your content, spend your money on your content, spend it on keyboards. Don't do that, actually. It's a bad hobby. It's an expensive hobby. Thanks for watching, everybody. I appreciate you guys watching. Let me know what you guys think down in the comments below. Would you buy this microphone? What's your opinions about it? Um, fine, fine. Also, has other microphones. Do you compare it to other brands? I honestly can't see how people would really complain about this and this price point. There might be fancier, cooler looking ones, but when you're on a budget and you just want to get a microphone that's decent, decently good, I'd recommend this one any day of the week, to be honest, especially because it's plug and play. <laughs> Have a good one.